Martín Vizcarra was greeted with a standing ovation. It's the same Congress that pushed him out of his post as transport minister less than one year ago. The 55-year-old former governor of a tiny southern state took the oath amidst the deepest political crisis in decades in the Andean nation. Lo que ha sucedido it's time to say enough is enough. What has happened must mark the time to put an end to the politics of hate and confrontation. That hasn't done anything else but damage the country. The Odebrecht corruption scandal led to the resignation of Pedro Pablo Kuczynski. Former President Ollanta Humala is in jail and Congress approved the extradition of another former president, Alejandro Toledo, from the U.S. On Friday, the new president said he would be tough on corruption. The grave situation that we've been through merits the clarification of responsibilities and that any type of irregularity committed should be taken to justice. Many Peruvians say they are ready to move on. We're tired of being so underdeveloped, of so much corruption. We want Martin to be our hope that he really improves our country's development. Education, health and agriculture should be the main issues to succeed. Analysts say the big question for Vizcarra now is where will he get the political strength to govern with this Congress where Keiko Fujimori and her popular force party hold the majority. A majority that former President Pedro Pablo Kuczynski accused of impeding his ability to govern. His party, Peruvians for Change, now support Vizcarra, but with very few votes. And the challenges for change are many, from reigniting the economy to fighting crime and pushing forward rebuilding the country left devastated by the El Niño phenomenon last year. However, many say Vizcarra's greatest challenge will be to get the people's trust. An opinion poll says that in early March, 81% of Peruvians didn't even know his name. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.